The saving grace for that for OG is you have this tree. You have the living armor, these roots, all these ways to prolong a fight and maybe keep them alive. But I think if Nip just play off of their strong timing, they are. Nice. See if you can sap some more gold from these guys as uh, they will get the first kill with a dive. Wow, goes the other direction. Um, and Seb, appreciating what he's seen, he's like, yeah, Weaver can do whatever he wants. He's fine. Um, well, that used to be a, a combo too, right? It's like uh, some goblack drafts. So, like, Triant, Weaver, OD, just like dive towers with, with Weaver constantly giving him living armor. But uh, no, no living armor on the Triants early these days. Mm -mm. And no tail, unfortunately, looks like he is going to go down there. Fissure not going to connect onto the puck. And well, one more punch, Coddle as well. Uh, so, pretty interesting uh, laning setup that NIP have put together here. Is Era dead? No. Uh, Charlie up top, they're going in at the same time. This is so dangerous, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> He's just got so much armor. Like, you hit him with a Shikuchi and you think, like, oh, yeah, we got him, guys. And you start right clicking, and you're like, yeah, this isn't doing anything. Oh, man. And now nope. back locked. <laughs> Dude, what is happening in this game? The early aggression, uh, a little bit of a misplay there. Sumail does have blink away, so he's gonna be fine. Back top. And up top, Seth. Wait, like half their HP. And then they both backed and were like, oh, okay, whatever, we'll just regen up. But obviously, uh, that takes a little bit of time. It's important to get there first with the silence, so. Three deaths on Saksen. Trying to get in towards Treads next. Uh, needs some of those small items just remain irrelevant here. Uh, they're also trying to go. Mid one does take down Saberlight. Well, up top, they take down Seneko. So, dual kills on multiple different lanes and set. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. If they're not careful now with this Sunder, they turn it around onto the Weaver, blow him up. Sumail now turning to try and fight. You gotta get out of here. Charlie is a monster. Meanwhile, Supreme just killed mid one in the mid lane with Era as well. Who actually found that mango tree? That it was like that nobody found. Did you see that? I did not see that one. It's the dire. So it dropped somewhere. No one picked it up, I'm guessing, right? If you like look at the oh. dire, I think TV's illusion might have killed it or something when he was close. I'm not sure. Got it. Oh. Does the same thing. Ooh. Stolen the over though. So. Careful about overextending, or you just kill Era. Seb, he's tracked up. They have another round of Shurikin in just a second. Sumail taking a lot of damage there. Another couple punches, but don't they normally, did you normally not see items if they're dropped in Fog of War, even if you're an observer? I feel like that was a thing. Get him wrong. Neutral camp. Anyway. Whoa, what's the mid one? He's in some trouble here. He can drop down the magnetic field, but oh, it won't matter. He goes down. Yeah. No chance for an echo, even for a turnaround. They take down No Tail afterwards. Coil chasing. They knew Seb was off to the side. He's got to run. Breaks the coil right at the end. Don't think he meant to do it that way. Track is now on Seb. Will go down. And it is falling off the rails right now for OG. We're going to Soxa here. Underneath the ward as well. Do they want to just fully commit for the kill onto him? I have got five seconds till coil, but he just yules him. Yeah. And the silence afterwards, the chase down is there, and they don't even need the coil. Dude, he dies so quick. Holy crap. But back on the other side, Charlie also takes down No Tail. Well, about their movements, they should see that Seb is nearby. You will Scepter lift up. Down on the south side, onto Sumail. He doesn't have any way to take off this silence. The coil comes immediately afterwards. He blows up. They're trying to control air and see if they can bring down one. This freaking Ignis Faustus is so annoying for them. No tail. Trying to walk away. So on another Echo Slam does not have a way to take off that silence. So the overgrowth comes out. Manta immediately taking all of that off. Trying to bring down Saberlight. Also, though. They're doing a ton of damage in the back lines. And Charlie also under control. Oh, gee. Are they actually doing it? Sunder comes out at the last second. Oh, no, they're not. No. Holy moly, that hurt. Time lapse, trying to run away, and he is going to be able to do that for him. But I, we, I can tell you about it later because I think the game might be. Uh, you know, gotta watch carefully. Blink and you miss it. No tail. Oh, chase down. Punch is coming in. Ignis Fontes pulls them all back together. Mid one is going to drop. That is two dead. The tier two tower likely to boot. As Seb trying to run away, Saberlight still chasing this guy down. But they are going to instead head down south, kill off Sumil yet again. 14,000. Both lead. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. And that's why they just. Oh god. Oh no. It's 
Silence on a three, Coil on to two. They break it and break them. NIP, it is a freaking pounding as they jump forward, find the Earthshaker. That is his first echo of the game, I think, and he's gonna get it thrown back in his face. He's not careful. My goodness gracious, this is a hell of a beatdown. That combo is so good, the Coddle and the, uh, the Puck together. Oh yeah. You can't really do much to stop it. Well, the double bubble, but the back away. Charlie still has Sunder, still has Manta. Nobody really presenting a target, though, for him to Sunder somebody on. That's insane that that's just the clone, though. Like, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that is the... Oh, that's true. Yeah, that yeah. is true. They, they want to finish in the... Yeah. <laughs> That would be relegated. That would be uh, less than ideal. Um, oh my god, Supreme. He's crazy. He just jumps in. They missed the fissure there, unfortunately. Thinking about the overgrowth. Walking into the pit. A lot of damage out on the fifth one, and he's just going to get demolished yet again. Do they have any type of control here? No tail is dead yet again. Seb going to get ran down. And just like that, four are gone. Going to be the clone afterwards. GG, it's over. My goodness. I feel like Queen of Pain has been the absolute most polarizing hero I have watched in my life. Thank you so much for your thoughts as we're going to go back with Lyrical and Trent. And are you guys as negative on Nip as these guys are? <laughs> Let me know. Hell to the no. I love Nip's trap. They're crazy. <laughs> Thanks. You're doing you a so great job crazy. over there, Trent. Are, 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 I was just thinking Trent his combos later. But yeah, in the laning stage, you've been. That's a tough one. But so far, still good for him. Hasn't eaten too many of these other blasts, it looks so like. Taking a lot of damage, and it's just going to be drop down first blood. Holy. Oh, but kind of whatever. Where are you watching? Well, Sumail, down bottom. He's going to try and chase after Stabilite. Brute comes out. They also get the time dilation. Taken here. Needs a bash. Needs a bash. Get oh. the bash. Ooh, I Sumail. And this time I mention. The arrow, too. Is they going on this? They're thinking about it. Mid one taking a lot of that they damage. They want to turn on the era. To be a big kill. Yeah, <laughs> Bye, era. I think. Run away. Oh, uh, yeah, they're not. Oh. Supreme. Uh, Supreme gets six. That's why. They lose. Try to find that fifth one. So I'm going to get the pull off as well. Sumail getting up in their face. First crown. And Charlie turns on to the top side, trying to bring down the four. Still building up some poison sacks. They do have disruption as well as soul catcher if they want to use it. And the attempted jump on them. Charlie, three stacks, four stacks. I don't know why they would even bother disrupting him. Yeah, it's a little interesting. Supreme makes rotation in, and now Seb is likely going to go down. Snakeo takes that kill for himself. And again, it's Supreme, the one that's moving around the map, making these kills happen for NIP. That was really strange. I mean, it sucks as obviously an infinitely better duel. I just don't like, what was his thought process there by disrupting that Morphling? Yeah. Like, they don't have Roar. They don't, I, I don't know. It's like, at least you can, maybe you can kill the Venge. A tithe to right. the purities. Well, and it certainly didn't help when the Pugna showed up, which speaking of which shows back up yet again. Charlie now turning onto that Oracle, trying to kill off notes. Now they turn their attention on a Seb. The stun comes out. Do they have any save at all? Doesn't look like it, but mid one showing up for the big turnaround. Supreme is gonna get killed off. Now the attention onto Charlie. If he gets out, NIP probably feel okay about that. But still. Those are raging. Like they've had a hawk here, sure, but both teams kind of know exactly what's going on. Oh, stun. Root afterwards. And Sucks are gonna die. Mid one. Showing up yet again. Round two of this one. They don't have any points up in the Nether Ward. And, well, Supreme, he's just going to go down most likely. No, the turnaround. Oh, the life drain. What a play. Seb gets level six, but it's not going to be in time. They kill off the Beastmaster. And now, oh, man, if they still... So they make a big smoke play all the way down bottom. Don't get anything. There's no pressure on the tower. Oh, Sumail. has a chrono available if he wants to hit it. No, but Saber Life, he gets the Rolling Thunder off. They decide they don't want to go anymore, so they'll try to figure out where he wants to time walk to. Keeping this SD alive for the moment, Saberlight gets pulled back. And OG not going to overcommit. Mm, he wants to get that Venge because of the swap, but top, top. not able to. Well, Bash might oh, have oh, oh, that was nice. into it. But the Terrorize comes out the fear on the mid one. 
keeps taking a ton of damage. Shamel still manages to clean up the kill on his saber leg. Chasing forward for more. The Bedlam comes out. They don't have a save there in time. No till couldn't get in position. Neither could the Shadow Demon. And well, Soxa under control, turned around, disrupts himself. But eventually, does he go down? No, he's no, he's it's no kill. Okay, a chance. They missed the split earth, actually, as the swap comes back in. They're controlling for the moment. Mid one, still living. Disarmed, controlled, nether blast. It's too much. They bring down that left track. Don't quite have enough damage in the tank left to kill Supreme. Dude, they are killing it. The Vengeful Spirit coming after you. Round two has another stun in three as No Tail hides around the other side. And Sumit puts him stuck in the trees. They find the finish here, though, in just a moment as Suneko able to get the walk away. I want to see the chicken taunt. Can he get out? Hide off in the trees, jump to the other side. The stun comes out again. Era Supreme and Suneko comboing together to make all of Sumail's nightmares come true. Holy crap, NIP. I do draw the ward. <laughs> look great. Um, but it, it also feels like they're, they're playing around it so well on NIP. Uh, Saber Light does have the time dilation on him. Slow down. I don't know if Sumail's Sumail, going in. I mean, he wants to hit a bash, gets one of them there, still has the Chronosphere nearby, and he's just going to get blown up. Yeah. They, they don't don't Morphling's free from a bottom at one oh, strength right now. God. The turnaround mid one is also going to get controlled and completely destroyed. 4v5, and OG just got completely decimated. Saber Light gets roared. The chase forward coming in, but the heal, it's there from the Pugna. They don't have an answer to this. No Tail is going to drop the rain in behind enemy lines. They find Seneko, they find Saber Light, and they might be able to find a kill here. He is in some trouble. Chrono comes out afterwards. Do they have enough damage to bring down Saber Light? He is going to get bashed, going to get killed, and OG, they're on the map below. Going in a little bit there with the Blink Dagger, and now they've got him under control. Did Supreme overextend the swap out? Trying to keep him alive. Snakeo throws the stun away, and, well, that's going to be the Vengeful Spirit dead. And it's a game to swap back again, creating more space in between Supreme and the rest of the team. Disruption, but he has a Blink out afterwards. Doesn't quite get it in time. Big win yet again for OG. And this might, they've been thinking about Roche. Yeah, if they catch one person alone, that is a very easy uh, fight win for them. Chase forward, Saber Light even gonna commit the ultimate for this one. Sox are gonna imprison himself. No tail is off to the side as well. They're keeping in everybody. This is a little bit of a swapped, pulled back in to get the roar for the kill, but that was on the Venge. And just like that, the attempted runaway Supreme, Yule Scepter lifted up. Does he have any way out of this one? Decrep for the moment. Still more damage. The life drain on his Sunil tries to run away. Charlie turns back into that void. A great terrorize. And now Aaron trying to bring them down. Bedlam is out. Is it enough damage? The Chrono comes in time. I don't know if I can bring him down in time. Disarm, jump forward. Sumail manages to find the kill and lives through it. That's eight just down, but big enough. Good blink away there as well to keep Seb alive for the moment. And Sumail chasing forward, trying to find Charlie. They bring the Lincolns, able to find the stun and kill off that more. OG are back, baby. Even if it was a fight on your side of the map, they're going to start bringing reinforcements to try and stop this. They were like, be careful, my friend. Oh, he's crazy. Well, the Banish Men catches off to the side. Mid one doing a ton of damage. Roar onto that Pango with nowhere left to go. They're trying to run down Supreme. See if they can get that kill. Disarmed, but he's not going to be taking any magic damage through there. Lesh is living, but is he going to live long enough? Now the turnaround comes out. Mid one finally going to be brought down. So in a game of overextensions, we see another one from OG. Morph might just pop off at some point. Is that is that crazy? I don't know. Uh What's, uh, he doesn't oh. worry about death. Wow, they actually got him with a root. That's crazy. Oh, Seb, they know. <laughs> oh, no. Right, I have my hawk and I have my blink. And cut <laughs> <one more>. <laughs> so, like, they have two save supports, right? Like, yeah. that... <laughs> I don't know. It, it feels like the draft is not working as intended. Um, holy, but the big oh. jump in there All blows right. the hell out of Seb. Yeah, right. I'm underestimating the the decrep as well. Like, if they can sync that up every time, it doesn't matter if he's like yet. And fear catches on to both of them. The jump for Dagon trying to bring down No Tail first is gonna pop. They just hit the false promise on the mid one, but Charlie's still dealing a ton of damage onto him. Along with Dagon. Like, well, should be fine. That's a lot of heals. I mean, it's not enough though. They still bring him down after the false promises. Wow. Reductions. Oh my God.
Well, so we, um, yeah, uh, that, that, was, that was pretty good. Oh, mind breaker. All right. Top tower has fallen. How good is that this game? That's pretty oh, good. forward. They got him. They got him caught. Oh, oh they weren't able to get the stun on the time. The heal coming in from the side. And Sadeko swaps him out. They're going to keep Charlie alive. Now the turn gets the silence onto that freaking Beastmaster to chase down coming. Charlie trying to live through it. And Sumail is maybe going to be able to bring him down. The bashes are there, still under control. Adaptive Strike throws it back. They will kill off that void. Or excuse me, the Morphling. Sumail gets the jump away. He too dies. His arrow is able to finish him off. Seb now chasing onto Era, trying to find that kill. Illusions abound. And a double kill coming out from Seb. Saberlight saved at the last second. Was Seb is going to live through it. And mid one finds the stun. All five are dead. NIP get walloped. No tail kill. They know. They know. They know. Charlie, he's under vision. They get vision right away. And he doesn't get the way for jump away. Swap out though. Oh, what a save. Last second. Saber life jumping into the Roche pit. The roar comes out onto that work It's not quite doing enough. The bounce back and forth coming from Saber life. Able to get the damage on the mid one, but he's saved by that false promise. Still nobody dead in this fight as they got control over the Oracle. Trying to kill him off. This no tail actually able to get the walk away. Oh, but Adaptive Strike finishes him off in the end there. Wait for a round. Time to Saber life under control by Sumail getting bashed by Roche and everybody else. They buy back on the Dark Willow, wanting to get back into this fight and bringing down mid one. Oh, Yule Scepter last second trying to live, but the timing as they take him down when he lands from the Yule Scepter, killing off Seb as well. And now Charlie turning on to Sumail, a triple kill for Supreme. Oh, this one of us does so much. All right, Charlie. They throw out the axes, getting healed back up by the Pugna, and the mechanism afterwards, Charlie lives through the first burst. They still have Chrono, obviously, if they want to use that. Swap away for the moment on a mid one. He's out of position now, but isn't going to be able to get brought down, at least for the moment. They use both saves on him at the start. No tail taking a lot of damage. Disruption to live him, but there's going to be a big Chrono on to three. They catch everybody here. Look at the Sarah Tower on the ball. Catch her Charlie under fire. Going to get bursted down. That's Aegis round one. Holy crap, that was insane. Stun. The batches are there, trying to live through this one. Does have a waveform away as well as the Manta TP is out, but banished, caught, and still to be killed. Char Charlie, Dota in some trouble. They are going to be up. Well, Sumail clipped himself for all time's sake. Uh, you know, every now and then you got to go back to your roots. He's saying the guy had a easy. Do you have any fights you need to win with the guy? It's it's not very many in the OG in this one. I feel like. Oh, um, mid one catches out here and they're looking to try and end this game i mean they don't have chrono but og still feeling strong they chase four for saber life damn near going into the fountain that's to pop his bkb but they did have swap as well and just like that they're gonna try and run away can they get out though uh you do have to be really careful about this charlie's still chasing looking for seb has a waveform again in a second if he wants to use it saber light still the slowdown comes out to mail this is a level 25 talent, and he's just going to jump forward and hit it a few more times. Still hanging on to that BKB. Rooted, getting drained, not able to punch things, but does not seem to have a good one. goes crazy, jumps into the middle of all of them. Chrono down onto two, but they have the swap. The answer is there. Saber Light likely to die in the duration of this one. Oh, Buys back immediately. Now the roar onto that Dark Willow, trying to bring her down. Shadow Realm is not going to save you, and over behind the tier four towers, they're also going to hallucinate. Go buyback from absolutely everybody, and OG says, we don't want to be here anymore. Or they go all in on Saber Light. Keep them all back for this one. If he goes down right now, Oh my god, that terrorized saved his life and barely able to keep him from being brought down again. Yeah, they're still pretty healthy here, though. I know I don't see them leaving quite yet. Yeah, yeah be careful. I think it's a fire move, probably, because there is a Roche. They also have the Pango ulti back up again, and no Chronosphere for Sumail. Are they going a bit too far? Saber Light, round two, jumps into all of them, gonna connect on a mid one, hit into three, now looking for the fourth. The follow up is gonna be their Yule Sector. It's not looking like there's enough damage though. Jumping coming from the Morphling. Charlie doesn't have enough in the tank right now. They pull back onto Sumail, jump in from mid one in the midst of all of them with the Bloodstone heal coming in the False Promise. He's barely gonna be brought down. It still wasn't enough. Deep Crab keeping Sumail. 
Sweep from Supreme. Control killed. They overextended also. They bunched off for Sumail, and he doesn't have buyback with that purchase. Now the decrypt uh, there. They're going in right into the pit. Oh, Saber really No, he missed it on the way back out. Wasn't able to go for round two of it. Trying to bring down this Oracle. Can't quite get him in range. They have Chronosphere back up if they want to hit it. Jump away into both, but now they're in range for the Chronosphere. Oh, no Sumail holds on to it, and they got him caught. Saberlight is going to get killed off here, but they still keep the line. Charlie gets the jump away. Lincoln's here keeping him alive. Roar afterwards. Done. Two minutes, no more plane, and that is a huge one. GG is called as OG pull it back from the jaws of defeat to take down NIP. From sieging oh, a high ground to not even doing the tier tricks like one. The unwritten rule that we're putting down here. Thanks, logic there. See, there Thank you go. You. Don't trust my logic at home, please don't. I don't want you to lose games and blame me for it. We should go to people that know what they're talking about, though. It's going to be lyrical. Oh, you see, NIP. They preemptively tipped oh. him for this. Uh, this is pretty good. Um, the root comes out. They're going to build up the stacks, and they had an idea of where the strong lane was coming from. And now they're going to punish. And a blight. He got some jelly for himself. Oh, no. He, he gave one to the storm. Oh no, he didn't actually just take one for himself, actually. Oh no, no, it's Supreme yet again. Goes down mid one. He's going to be able to live through this. Disrupting Charlie. So the level six rotation from the Dark Knight does not bear fruit. And in fact, they killed the. You know, now he's even soaking experience away from Supreme. There's this running out. Oh, he's dead again. The combo comes out, and they're going to bring it down the storm sphere for a fourth time. He has four of his team's six deaths. Team? I mean, oh. they don't have the best rotators. Like, Phoenix can be okay if there's turnaround potential because, like, the dive and the fire spirits, but when you're just overwhelmed like this, does not really have a great saving mechanism. But now Vin one is showing no fear up here. Maybe Dude. Jamaica might be gone, too. I mean, at this point in time, nine minutes into the game... I guess he probably just thought that the centaur stomp would be enough to save him. It's also very long to pull down. Down bottom. Charlie. Gonna die. The light oh, from Snake. Save, go. bro. <laughs> go ahead and try and kill me. Dude, Seb is so happy that they're getting this on the return. But the supernova down. No tail. In some trouble. False promises. Mid one to keep him alive. Does he have any way to survive through the burst that's coming out? Supreme getting brought low. Soxa. He has the disruption save. And Leshrac is gonna live through that initial burst. And Sumail comes in. The turnaround is there. They'll kill off the Shadow Demon, but they will lose the axe. Okay. They can get him, but no tail there for the moment. Yule Scepter keeping him alive, taking the damage off the runaway mid one, barely living, thinking about chasing. They find the angle, misses on the sun, but Seb, he's gonna come help to clean up What's at the, the end. Way? And even when it's looking good for NIP, it all falls apart. Okay, uh, Sumil is a little insane, and he might have just died. They pull him back in, they are gonna get the kill on Sumail. So OG now with their overextension, everybody else has to run away they don't quite get the call on the sev but it looks like that should be the end of it although soxa might be <laughs> Daya's middle tack, yeah, they're tack. committing for it mid one die ball is eating oh good stun comes out there and mid one decrypts himself for the moment another round of the supernova save coming in yet again they're trying to kill it off the egg will drop all the damage coming out from mid one they have the heal soxa's gonna go down but so too will save her light and they couldn't kill the pesky lash yeah Oh, they're baiting this down bottom. I, Supreme thinking that they were off on the other side. He finds them there. <laughs> what was that? Got him again. <laughs> why, why did he do that? He's out of mana now. Supreme? Hello? I, I don't know. That was interesting. Did he zip back in? I wasn't, I wasn't paying. I just saw him he, zipping he was, away, he cutting the trees. He was just out of mana. Uh, dies to mid one and now Sev is also going to eat up Seneko that's three dead across the map part over the last couple of minutes and OG are gladly going to take the win on that one as well Saber Light he gets found yet again he was going on to no tail trying to play aggressively but Sumail comes in is going to try and put the stop to that one more purifying flames though gets the kill now Charlie he's the one who's going to be up front center pops the ulti no tail tries to run away and he should be able to make his way out of there the long Range zip. No, no false promises himself. They got the control. Can he TP out afterwards? Doesn't have a TP available on Oracle. So no, they will eventually die. They ping him out. They know that the Monkey King's up there. 
Yeah, so Mel's trying to scout for where the axe could be lurking as well. So Mel gets out of the low ground. That makes the initiation a little bit harder. Battle hunger. They've got a blink call ready if they want to use it. Does he go for the opening? There's going to be the combo out with the supernova, but destruction to take away the axe. The stun is there on his Mel, still being healed up through all of this. And with that wearing off, it is going to be a walk away, and well, they can go again if they need to. Although there's no false promise, but I don't know if it matters. There's also no ag, though. I feel like you just use the disruption and go. Yeah, possibly. Oh, uh, dude, Seb is just chasing Charlie over in the trees while the rest of OG is going high ground. They don't have their liking here for this fight. Trying to control him for the moment. Saberlight just getting completely destroyed yet again. Stun is there onto Supreme. That is a tier three tower and probably more as, well, they tip him back. Dyer's top so I'm just chasing the DK. He's like, yeah, I know I can't kill you, but now you can't blink. Can't get back to your team. I don't know if he had like a, a centaur maybe nearby, but it looked like he also couldn't TP. So 23 to 6, 15,000 gold lead. OG trying to close this one out off the back. Smell Monkey King. Seb just beating away at the towers, going back to work hitting them. All right, Saberlight, how many spins can you get? They're pretty clumped. Let's see if they can do it. They're looking for an opening. Phoenix buys back, has Supernova available. They need the combo right here and right now. Uh, it ain't going to look that pretty. As the control of the jump in, they dive. Saberlight, oh, he's disrupted. So much damage out onto the poor old axe. Saberlight is going to die. They are taking down all of the buildings. Seb continuing to just beat into Supreme. Bad Wolf is gonna gobble up Charlie, and that's GG. OG gonna take the series 2 1. We are not gonna be sent to the tiebreakers, this is saying. Uh -huh. The young